Colleen Ballinger and welcome to my closet. I have a big, beautiful closet. It's one of the things, honestly, when I bought this house that I was like, yes. The one downside of having the biggest closet of all time is the fact that you're never really forced to get rid of anything because there's room for everything in the world. I need to get rid of 90% of it because I don't wear it and I just have it and it's just sitting in here. So today, I will be going through this entire freaking closet and I'm going to donate a ton of my stuff to a women's shelter near me because those people need it more than I do and it is ridiculous that I have so much stuff in here that I don't use and I don't need. I've never really shown you guys my closet before. This is my closet. This is absurd. This is like bigger than my first apartment and I'm not joking. Like my first apartment, my bedroom was smaller than my closet. I guess you could just call me Gabby Hanna at this point because I'm cleaning for a video. Let's start with what I'm looking at right here. I'm gonna just turn y'all around and we'll get started. Okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. I don't think I've opened this section of my closet since right after I had the baby. What? We have merch from my tour. I think this is a pregnancy sweater. I don't need it. Goodbye. A shirt dress question mark? I don't know, but it's one of those things that I've just kept in my closet forever and been like, I'll wear that someday and I never will. So goodbye. Oh my God, I'm so good at this. I mean, will I wear this? No, I'm not gonna wear that. Goodbye. This one I'm keeping. I bought this at a thrift store in Alabama on tour. This, go away. <gasps> Nursing clothes. Lift up a flap. This part comes down and out comes the boobie. I'll never wear them. I just whip it out now. I don't need like a cool nursing contraption. I just like take off my clothes. What is this? Why do I have this? Also, I kind of like it. Wait, I think I maybe like this. Ew, you guys are gonna make fun of me, I bet. This is a random purple like hoodie. I think I bought it when I was pregnant. She's gone. What is this? Why do I have, whose is this? Oh, actually this is really cozy and soft, so I'm gonna keep that, I think it's from Walmart. Look at that, of everything up here, three things I'm keeping, three. Wow, that just is embarrassing. This is a dress that I bought and I never wore, and you know what? So Shut up. This shirt says, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts are no more. Ew, I just did that. Stop doing peace sign your mother. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be hard because I thought I'd be like such a hoarder. But I'm kind of just getting rid of everything. Will I wear her? I might wear her. Another maternity shirt. I'm triggered. I keep on my red carpet looks. So like this one I wore on red carpet, it was the first outing I did after I had the baby. Normally, Hollywood's all about being super tiny and fake and plastic and injected. And I had just given birth to my child. Child. I walked a red carpet in this dress and I've never felt more sexy, gorgeous, beautiful, amazing in my life. I walked red carpets in double zero dresses, full hair and makeup done, like beautiful, tall, sparkly, expensive heels. Like I've done all of that and I was insecure the whole time. But after giving birth to a child, my confidence, like I was like, I am a superwoman. I gave birth to a baby. I want to keep it forever because I loved that feeling of just feeling like so proud of myself that I got out of the house being a brand new mom and I got a new dress and like it fit my new like breastfeeding mom bod. And I felt good, honey. I and everyone was making fun of my red carpet pictures being like, look at this mom, you look like such a mom on the go. And I was like, yes, I'm working it, I love it. Another nursing shirt, so goodbye. This is a pregnancy shirt. <gasps> I wore this in the thank you next music video. So I have to keep it. I did press for waitress in this dress. You know, it's like a Forever 21 dress. I think it was like $10. Okay, there we go. One section down. Guys, I got rid of probably 90% of the clothes in this thing. That's crazy. Okay, kids, I'm gonna do, is this interesting to anyone? Is anyone still watching? Are you guys bored out of your minds? Keep them here. I'm keeping this. This blue romper's out. Goodbye, child. This is a Miranda shirt. I don't know why it's in this closet, so that's cool. This was my mother's when she was like in her early 20s. Sometimes you think something looks really good on you and then later you see pictures or videos of you in it and you're like, oh, that was not a good choice. That was this for me. I bought this and I thought it was so cute and then I went and did press wearing this and I did not look good, guys. It was not a good moment for me. This, however, was a winner. I bought this romper on a whim and I wore it at a panel at VidCon and I love it. I wore this dress on Ryan and Kelly once. I like to keep my press dresses. I don't know why. It's just like special to me. I don't know if that's stupid. I already regret this decision to do this video. Like the thought of editing this video is stressing me out. I hate my life. This is not mine. I don't know whose this is, but I'm getting rid of it. One of my friends is watching this and this was yours. Sorry, you can go to the women's shelter and ask for a back. <laughs> 
you. So down here, I have a bag of bags. Good to know. Never knew that was there. This is the pile that I have so far. It doesn't even look as big as it actually is in person. This is gonna take me forever. Wow, I really hate this. I'm gonna go um, hang out with Eric and then go to bed and start again tomorrow. So see you in the morning. Okay, so it's been a week. Listen guys, I just didn't want to clean out my closet, okay? I am a mess. This pile of clothes is still here. It has been here for a week, but <coughs> relax, okay? It's just a closet. Okay, here we go. No pee, -pee right, love? Keep it. Keep it. It'll come back in another three years. Love. Okay, here's the thing that people don't see is that five days ago, you said, I'm gonna I know, trying to clean, closet, to clean said, it now. Show them the pile. I did, I just showed them. I already admitted my it's failure. Been like for five days. It's actually been a week. Do you think I should keep this? Think that you're a liar. You think I should keep this? I like that chunk, yeah. You're not helping me at all. And in fact, you're making things worse. What about this chink version of it? Come back. You're horrible! What about this? <laughs> oh, someone made this for me when I was done. Wow. Isn't that cool? Oh my God. Oh, this is like... your jean jacket, but I'm keeping it. Okay, this is new. Keeping her. I love her. What about this? I've never worn it, but you made me buy it once because you said it was fashion. What do you wear it with? <laughs> Nothing? Love This is not going well. I've kept everything. This has got to go. Why would you throw it? That's a great cardigan. Are you being serious? I'm being serious. <laughs> I've never worn this. Okay, so I bought this thinking it was like a shirt and it's definitely like a bra with sleeves. Yeah. I'll wear it for a video. What video? Porn video? No, they! These are all my crop top sweaters. I just bought these. This is bad, right? Yeah, that can go. Thank you. This, ooh, he just made a really ugly face of that. This I wore to the table read of Haters Back Off. The first time you really saw me was in this. An Avaho car seat cover. Love <laughs> Okay, sentimental, <laughs> who cares? No, I'm not keeping it. You, you call it a Navajo car seat cover. <laughs> yeah, this is cute and I don't remember buying it. What about this sweater? Ah! What about this one? This that is a doily. Is a doily. <laughs> what about this one? I like it. Yuck. <laughs> he goes, yuck. I mean, I have to keep this. This I used to wear all the time. Tell me when you're gonna wear that next. Never. <sighs> I can get rid of a red pea coat. Like, what am I ever gonna wear a red pea coat? A leather jacket with a hood attached. Yikes. R2D2? Hey, what the? This one I toured with a lot too. Oh, he's the face he's <laughs> making? I'm devastated you're not on camera. Cause wow, the judgment I just got for that dress was wild. This I wore on Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> I wore this on Haters Back Off. And I wore it on The Colbert Show when I was pregnant. <laughs> This is like the most special dress in the world to me. I wear this on the red carpet for Beauty and the Beast. What? And this is very special to me. I can't get rid of it, even though I'll never wear it again, because I did a web series a million years ago, and in the web series was Flava Flav. You heard that right, Flava Flav. We were on set, we were shooting outside. I was freezing cold and I was wearing shorts. And during the break, he went to a store and he came up to me and he goes, hey Colleen, you don't have to be cold anymore cause I got you this, this. And he gave me this big cozy jacket cause he saw that I was cold and he barely knew me. And I thought that was really nice. Over here, we have like robes and onesies. As you can see, I love a onesie. I kind of have to poop. I just got rid of so many things. I'm so proud of myself. I gotta poop. You guys, honestly, this is a nightmare. And I hate that I wanted to do this for a video because it means I have to finish it because you guys are gonna keep me accountable. I mean, I've, I'm feeling good about how much I'm getting rid of, but like, it is such a bigger task than I thought. Last night, I stayed up late doing these shelves. These were packed and now they're not. So these are my t-shirts and tank tops, long sleeves and t-shirts, crew necks, hoodies with zips, hoodies without zips. And like, these are things, I don't really ever wear them, but they're special to me. So I basically only have like a couple little sections more to do. So I have this section, which is like pants, skirts, and then I have my shoes. Then it gets to the hard stuff, which is all of this. This is what I'm dreading over here. I don't want to do it. But for now, let's do some pants. Okay, I get all my pants at like H&M Forever 21 because I like cheap clothes. I really like not spending money on clothes. But these pants from Forever 21, look at the crotchimus, okay? Just look at this saggy, like stretchy crotchimus moment. It's like the elastic in the vaginal area is like baggy and it makes it look like you have like a saggy, soggy area. I don't like that. I've never had issues with like Forever 21 clothes until recently. And now whenever I buy stuff from Forever 21, it like falls apart right away. These are really ugly, so I don't 
don't want them. What are these? I've literally never seen these in my life. These are horrendously ugly and I had them in college. I don't know why I still have them. We have very ripped jeans. So like it started off as a cute little hole like there, you know? And then it went like, Phew. when I had my baby, it ripped all kinds of ways, just like those pants. I love these pants, but they are getting a little too ripped. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I love these pants. Farewell, old friend. Oh, that's painful. Here's some shorts that I thought were cute and then I wore them and I saw myself in them in a video and I was like, whoa, those aren't cute. My merch from tour. These shorts are dirty. Eric bought me these shorts and he's like, I think you'd like these for bedtime. Polka dot shorts, don't need them, don't need them. Christmas shorts, keeping them. Oh my God, they have little French bulldogs on them. I feel like it's a statement piece, I gotta keep them. They're like workout shorts. I obviously didn't know I had those because why would I ever use those? Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys off and keep going without you here because this is boring. <gasps> you guys, it's much later in the night and I just did something that was so tedious and horrible and I'm so proud of myself. Look at this. I literally haven't seen this countertop since I moved into this house and I just untangled probably a thousand necklaces and went through so many random earrings and so many things but look at I narrowed it down so these are the only necklaces I have now this picture of my grandpa and then my perfumes and my other jewelry and an empty picture frame <laughs> and glasses that I never wear so oh my god I am so proud of myself so now I'm gonna go through this stuff oh this is my Christmas poncho I wore last year okay I don't even know what's in this like a basket of random stuff like what? I think these are clothes for my cat. I don't dress my cats up anymore. I will keep- <gasps> I don't know how long this basket's been up there, but this is full of cat hair and inside of this cat hair is poop. Wow, I need help. Okay, well, I'm donating this whole thing. Don't worry, I threw the poop one away. Oh, this is so cute. Ah, I have to keep it. Oh my God, scrubs from where haters back off. I'll put it in the Miranda room and cry about how my show got canceled. Look at all these hats. Oh my god, why do I have so many freaking hats? Penny. I mean, I'm keeping it. That's a sport hat. Who farted? Who farted? Be careful when you let it out so you don't start a squirt. <laughs> Do I have this? Oh my god, we're so close to being done. Oh, I'm so tired. I've worn these a lot, but I think they've done their time. Goodbye, heels. I've worn you to a lot of events. Oh my Jojo Siwa shoes. Come on, I gotta keep these. Time for these to go. Made Eric come in the room for moral support. Got these new shoes and I'm obsessed with them. I wore them on bus tour. You can't even tell how pretty they are in this video, but trust me, they're very pretty. These, I'm not gonna wear because they hurt. I'm all about comfort, y'all. Get rid of them, fine, get rid of them. Ugh. Those are disgusting. I love you, love you, but I'm getting rid of my Gucci slides. I bought you those. I know, but I love you, don't get mad. <laughs> Space. Really? I don't want them. I love them. I wore them a couple times. They're really uncomfortable. You bought them? Okay, I think you got them at a Walmart. These I wore at my Netflix special, but they're really ugly. This is what our house looks like now. Do you want some Dr. Scholl's sparklies? I'm getting rid of all my moccasins. I'm almost done, guys. We're getting there. All I have to do is finish these shoes and then organize everything and then clean everything. Oh, I have to go through the drawers. Damn it. I'm gonna Remember be here a while. Take 20 minutes. And it's a week later. <laughs> I know. <gasps> the baby's crying. Gotta go. It's two weeks later. But I did it. It's finished. It's finished. Okay, I know it doesn't look that much different to you guys, but trust me, 90% of the stuff in this closet that you guys saw from a few weeks ago is done. So most of the stuff that I kept was stuff that like meant something to me. So, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you like this video, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you can subscribe to my channel and you can like this video and you can leave a comment telling me how bored you were. Oh my God, I'm so tired. It's midnight and I need to go to bed. I, I'm not wearing makeup. Okay. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, sorry I burped so much in this video. Nah. Actually, I'm not sorry. Also, by the way, I have an excuse that it took me so long to finish this video because I had a horrible sty that basically took over my whole face. And also, my lip is bleeding because my kid rammed his head into my face. My tooth ran into my lip and it broke open and bled. So I'm kind of a mess, but my closet isn't. I need sleep. <laughs> Please subscribe to me.